Hey you, what if I told you eight out of 10 woodworkers throw their wood away because of a knot or crack? I'm gonna show you three simple techniques I use in my shop every day to fix cracks and knots without having to throw away your valuable wood. You ready? Let's go. For this first repair, we're gonna be filling in this void, all these cracks from this figure in this black walnut board. Supplies, we're gonna need knot filler. These are the rods. We're only gonna need one, so toss one over the shoulder for good luck. We're gonna use this chisel, a cooling block, and this heat gun. Now you're gonna wanna turn the heat gun on, turn it to a pretty good temperature. I've got it set to 380, and you're gonna wanna load one of the knot filler rods. I've already done this in efforts of speeding the process up. Let's fill the void or the imperfection in the wood with the knot filler. Just squeeze it in. This might take a couple of times depending on how deep the repair is. But apply it generously. Apply the cooling block. Cooling block has been applied for 30 to 60 seconds. We're gonna use the chisel. Pop it off. You can see now we have an evenly smeared surface. Take your chisel and just work it back and forth on the board. Now we just removed the excess filler and our knot is there. Now we're gonna do a little touch up sand and move on. Let's do a quick sand. And just like that, that repair is complete. The board is salvageable, I don't have to throw it away, and it's easy peasy. Are you ready for step number two on fixing cracks? I've got a piece of cypress here. It's got a couple of checks and cracks. We're gonna fill this very easily using a product with this accelerator spray and this CA glue, which is also kind of like a super glue. Let's shake the accelerator and let's shake the CA glue. First, let's spray a little of the accelerator into the crack. Then apply the CA glue. Once you've applied it, go ahead and add another little spray. This step may take a few times depending on how deep the fissure or the crack is that you're trying to fill. Ow! I had a splinter in my boot. What are the odds while I'm filming? It's ridiculous. Okay, while we wait for this to cure, I'm gonna discuss how we're gonna remove the excess. A couple of ways. Sometimes you can just grab a sander and just clean it up real well if you have a small crack. This was a deep crack, so I'm actually gonna use this block chisel to scrape off some of the excess before I sand. Just makes it cleaner and easier. If you don't have a block chisel, just use a normal chisel. Both works, easy peasy. Use your sander to clean up the rest. All right, let's take a look. I would say the crack looks pretty good for a nice, quick, easy repair. Now I was using black, but you could use a natural color, brown. They have a variety of different colors. Um, and you just have to check out what would work best for your application. Now for the next tip, using the same piece of cypress where we just filled this crack, we have crack on this end. We can even open it up a little bit. This one you're not gonna need too many supplies, but I'm gonna use a glue applicator spread. I applied some glue in this little canister and I'm using Tight Bond Quick and Thick. It dries clear and that's key, no yellow glue and we're gonna apply a little sawdust. First step, grab a little bit of the sawdust from obviously this same species of wood, pack it in the crack just a little. We don't wanna overdo this. 
as we want the glue to really seep into the crack. Now take your applicator and your glue, really push it in there, kind of like uh, using a spatula. You just really want to get that glue down up in that crack. After all, we are trying to stabilize a crack. Now grab the rest of the sawdust, the remaining dust, and spread it around. Kind of push it into the crack, really apply it, push hard. After you let the glue cure for about a minute or two, we're gonna apply the sander again to clean off the excess. And we stabilized another crack. Looks pretty good. I probably could have used a little bit more glue and a little bit more sawdust, but I think you get the trick and it works really well. Woo! All right. And just like that, guys, I showed you a few quick tips that I use every day in my shop, at least every week, to fill my voids and my cracks so I can save my wood and not toss it and throw it in the trash. Now, if you don't mind, I really appreciate it if you'd hit that subscribe button. I think it's somewhere over here, or maybe it's down below. It's really hard getting subscribers these days and even harder to even get people to watch the video all the way through the end. So if you made it all the way to this side of the video, I greatly appreciate it. You are awesome. Comment below, let me know what you think. And while you're at it, check out some of these videos and have a great day. I'll see you guys next time.